<clears throat> and we are live once again. Back at it again with some more Synth K2. Oh my lord, and a new update just hit. I was wondering why my game was taking a while to uh, to start. I wasn't even paying attention, but it's because it was actually updating. So the game did just receive a brand new update uh, between my last stream and then now. That's crazy. Um, so this is update 34.1. Creep it real. Okay. Uh, overview. Tis the season for terrible tales and fearsome thrills. So we are bringing back some frightful favorites for your survivors to gear up and prowl the wasteland. No tricks here, only treats with the return of the Halloween themed scarecrow, jack o' lantern, as well as our swine and bovine apron and mask, and hockey mask for a limited time. Okay. Every player who logs into the game between October 25th and November 15th will have these outfits items added to their closet absolutely free. But that's not all. We have more sinister surprises lurking in the dark. Mmm, okay. New outfits. Gear up your survivors and bring down zombies in style with some new outfit variants as you trick or treat in the apocalypse. Some variants will be given to you upon logging in, and some will require a bit of looting to earn. All right. Uh, gifted outfit variances. The, a taxi hat, a black pirate jacket, Jolly Roger buccaneer bandana, a teal kraken hoodie, uh, a red buccaneer bandana, Okay, and then outfit and variants placed into loot is a new variant of the mechanic coveralls, a navy pirate jacket, dirty bird trucker hat, a ninja lantern shark hoodie. In the darkness, your enemies will only see teeth. <laughs> okay, coarser blue buccaneer bandana. Okay, and then I guess these are the changes and fixes that come with this update. Uh, a new curveball has been added called Outlaws Passing Through, which will award 200 prestige for completing on time. Outlaws Passing Through, okay. It sounds like another human hostile type vibe. You have to go kill people. It sounds like, I don't know. We made it a bit more obvious when curveballs become active on playthroughs with a banner informing you they will start to appear. Fix performance issues occurring when black card curveball is active. Okay, that makes sense. Considering the last black card that I had a freaking fight, I didn't notice my frames drop a bit. NPCs are now laid down in beds when tired, sick, or injured. I thought they were already doing that, to be honest. I see, I saw my people lay down in the beds when they were sick, so. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Past some exploits with the new travels in a well oiled machine, curveballs that were providing an excessive level of benefits. They're still great, just not game breaking great. Interesting. Well, god dang, I should have took advantage of those when I had the chance. Um, fix more exploits with a loot reappearing after loading back into the game. Interesting. Fix an issue with the second tutorial curveball, the Lone Raider. The, a broken heart curveball is now a timed opportunity. If it's not destroyed, it will recover from its sickness and revert back to a regular play card. So strike while you can. What do you, what do you mean? I thought it was already on a timer. Hmm. So now they actually did add a timer to the broken heart, but I thought it was already on a timer. I had a broken heart one time that I was just gonna let it be, and I was going to kill it. You know, it was gonna be the last play heart that I did because it was in the corner of the map. But I would say after after a little bit of time, it it stopped being broken heart. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, previously the bait crate curveball had some underwhelming loot in the crate. That's true. That is very true. 
I went to it a few times and it was nothing but just snacks and wasn't really anything good. But it now contains far better rewards. Like energy drinks, I hope. Uh, a lot of other bug fixes and minor improvements to improve the quality and stability of the curveball feature. All right. So, got a new update or a new update patch. Either way, that's interesting to read, interesting to know. But we are now moving on to Maria really here. A new community. Only the zone. Trucker County. Let's do this. Where is Trucker County? There we go. I have a feeling this is not going to be so great because I'm not too familiar with this map. I just know it's very yellow, tannish, sandy type bead and not really much. No boons, obviously. Okay. <laughs> Gotta go. Man, I'm gonna be honest. This is always the hardest part for me is finding my first three people. And I'm not too sure who I want to go with because I feel like I have fallen into a rhythm of getting the same three people. Um, hygiene is very nice to start off with. House had black mode. It was just the once, but ever since I can't help wash everything. And then fitness boxer. I had a heavy bag in my garage and every night I've had... I'd go a few rounds pretending it was my boss. Interesting. And it comes with hygiene. So that's really useful. Um, it's not what I was wanting to go with as my three starting characters, but not going to say no. This person has food allergies. So I'm going to have to re-roll her. Heavy hitter. Green Thumb. I don't know what Green Thumb does. 50% gardening experience rate. Interesting. Huh. Um. I was actually kind of thinking about going with a driver. Because I'm slightly intrigued and curious on if having a driver is good or not. Or worth it, I guess. Oh, there's a sewing. He's a bow driver. You can't really know a car until the gas pedal hits the floor. Okay, does that affect anything? I don't know. I don't know, but he comes with sewing. 10 plus max health for the community and one item stack size. Does yoga. All right. Really looking for a driver somewhere. Driving. Okay, let me see. 100% fuel efficiency, 50% vehicle endurance, and 50% vehicle stealth. Nothing like being chased by zombies to make you appreciate things like stopping power. Get to know the city like the back of my hand, just the time to leave it behind forever. Hmm. I mean, driving does sound interesting. So start with the driver, start with the sewing, start with the hygiene. I know it's not your typical starter three pack but i really don't want to fall into a rhythm of starting with the same three survivors every time cooking chemistry uh computers etc so i think i may start with this this time because i think it'd be a little different i think it'd be you know interesting so here we go abram brad and dez just gonna call her d call him b call him a a b d missing c Driving, sewing, hygiene. Let's go. On Trucker County, too. I think having a driver and trucker might be okay. And we're empty. Because I am not I'm not too familiar so, with this map, but I do remember the one time I played on it. I did have to drive 
A lot. Um, maybe I should get to the base before I look at that. We've got to find a place to settle down. Yeah. No way I can do Ooh, this. Okay. Hold me over here. Start time with a freaking level eight. Or uh. Let's do this the right way for once and find some place safe. Already freaking zombie, right there. We've got to find a place to settle down. Time for us to find new digs. Okay. All right, let's go to the house. Why is my character already injured? Anybody else? Why am I already injured? Now, obviously she did take a hit from that guy but hopefully it wasn't too much I'm 100% changing these guys outfits though with Shark account of being like this I think I'm going to go with a little bit more of a western country vibe with this community's outfit choice I just saw one of the weird ones and on task. There's a lot of zombies just outside this place. I wouldn't spend five bucks on this place at an auction. I guess we can make it work. I guess this will do. Now it's time to claim this place before anyone else shows up. I gotta take it. He was out there fighting all the zombies by himself. Alright. Our first priority has to be gathering materials. We'll need them to improve this place. We need some more eyes out there. How do you feel about using yours? Yeah. I'm not finished yet, but it's coming along. No blood plague though, but he is, he is injured. I did start out with two material rucksacks as well. That a successful run. Yeah, this guy started with the freaking eight slot backpack. That's a W in my book. I don't know where these 45 rounds came from. I guess they came with the house. Yeah, she took a lot of damage from that freaking feral in the beginning. Okay, search to this guy. I don't know why I, I spawned with this guy injured, but a little unfortunate. About to take that other guy's backpack and get these beds repaired as well. Yo, my man, my man, my main man, where you at? 
Hey, I'm gonna take that backpack from you. Thank you. Mine now. Okay, use one of those, and then take a few with me. Take the firecrackers with me as well. So you never freaking know. Okay, that's happening. Get the infirmary going as well. I'm building this base up into something real. Need to figure out where everything is. So I need to go to the cell tower. Got out. Hey neighbors, we could use some extra hands. I'll be there soon, barring any delays. And the zombies Thanks can the climb this wall, right? Mm -hmm. I assume so. I do remember a food place here and a, a metal coal cleanser over there, but that's about all I remember. What a pile of hey, yeah, I'll take that. He's done. Oh, this one's Check that box on the done. Table. Take 15 to, to upgrade that. We don't want to run the risk of this guy getting injured since the other two already are. Especially since they can't... Oh, there's a loader right there. Especially since uh, they don't passively recover from injuries right now. Since I don't have the uh, infirmary too. You don't really need the infirmary. I mean, infirmary too. Obviously, you would want it. More beds for... Um, Blood plague patients. I think you only get one each level. You see, yeah, you only get one for each level. But these guys don't. Uh, heal. There's a car out there too. Uh, that's a fast looking car. What is that? A Mazda? You see nothing, my guy. You see nothing. There's nothing over here. I'm trying to kill that screamer. He's locked on to me like a freaking heat seeking missile. He knew exactly I was. Walking around the building. Like that, shut him up. What is that, a Mazda? That's thing. They got a small trunk space. A tool kit. All right, I can loot this later. I really want to climb this tower and scout. Do some reconnaissance. Might find a tool kit in here. No idea what I'm finding this. Parts maybe. Hollow weapon parts maybe. Or the generator. Okay. <clears throat> Take that. It's not what I was expecting. Yeah, there's the um, medical clinic. Molotov. Jeez. 
I'm gonna climb this tower, do some reconnaissance, and then change my community's clothing. I just realized I did not do that. I just didn't want to waste the daylight that I have. Oh. Loader over there. Some light bulbs. I think that location might make the perfect outpost. You think? Oh. Okay. I was Nothing sitting behind the house. Okay. Food stand, clinic. Don't know what's in that because they're in there. Probably a house or a shed. Plague heart over here. Seems like the little section of this town I'm in is safe from plague heart. But uh, probably gonna be one over here. Oh man, that's already looted. Okay, food, ammo, food, meds. No telling what you're finding the house is. Definitely need to loot all this. Um, I am going to make this cell tower an outpost though. But before I do, I want to look at the freaking closet. Got a bunch of stuff that popped up I don't know which one was the new one I got I think it was this one the teal and purple I think this was the new yeah I think this was the new coveralls that I got because I already had this one Pirate jacket. Shit. I mean, that's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna hold you. Actually, pretty cool. Let me know that was in the game. Shark hoodie. I'm not sure which one. I think I already had these, so. I think some of them that uh, I. Quote unquote unlocked. I already had. Now, this is pretty sick. I'm pressing room buttons right now. Yeah, this is pretty sick. Leather vase vibes. Kinda. Make this a little bit more orange. Alright. Now, we are on. Fucker. So, definitely will be taking a little bit more of a Western vibe, I guess you can say. Oh, this is the bandana. Pretty cool. I think this is the new one that I unlocked. Hockey mask. Oh, that's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Perfect for scaring horny teenagers. What the? Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Now, I probably won't be wearing this uh, with this community. I might. I don't know. Definitely want to, though. Oh, that's terrifying. What the hell? What the hell? Give me a note for me. Uh, 
right, let me see. I mean, the character model for it's pretty cool too. That's a perfect that's a perfect match right there. I gotta get more materials. Is there anywhere around here that I could? Fuck. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. Not, in, not anywhere soon, or not anywhere close. Um, I think up here was a uh, construction site. I guess I'm just going to need to try to loot some of this. To see if I can find a, uh, if I can find a, um, toolkit. Now, I don't know if I want to make this, um, cell tower my first, you know what? Um, are there any other cell tower? Yeah, there's one here, but it's in plague territory. Is there one not in plague territory? Nope. Nope. Fuck me. Okay. Um, yeah, I make this one my uh, first outpost. Consider this outpost ready to go. I kind of liked cell towers being my first outpost. Um. It's just definitely going to take a good bit before I can actually use them, though. So I think the, um... Yeah, it's 180 parts. Cheaper knowledge of computers, which I forgot about that. Got to keep that in mind. Um, I, I can actually drop this stuff off that I picked up. Let me check over here. This car report's preluded. Man. Everything that's like close by that could potentially have loot just already looted. Damn it. This this might have some. Damn, we should have hit this place. I know, <clears throat> I know it's a gas station, but it does say that you could potentially find materials there. So, let me go have a look. Imagine being a uh, screamer, no bottom jaw, no arms, just standing in the middle of a field. 
looking out off in the distance. Looks like this place is Zed free now. Contemplating life, and then you suddenly get grabbed and thrown onto the ground. What are you gonna do? I can actually use this. Found my. Well then, that's a feral. Not bad, but not great either. Feral right over there. Popped up out of nowhere. Am I gonna carry that? Take the bomb. I don't want to carry this stuff and be overweight and then the freaking feral jump on me. I can get back to here. I can drop it off. Not to worry about it too much. I don't know where he is though. Just know he's over there. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt that. I don't know where he is. trying to think I don't think I need to put the generator in anything right now okay so yeah the ferro's right there that's the case I'm gonna head this direction instead maybe run in here and grab whatever meds I can find should probably grab ammo though that's the one that's actually emptied. That's locked. Yep. I take that. I don't see any zombies in there so far. <laughs> This place is Zed free now. one food seems like should be losing six today but it said I only lost one unless something happened I didn't exactly read what the hell happened this spot's all tapped out okay is right there <clears throat> the pharaoh is over there as well I don't see him 
He's over there. I think he's what I've marked, so I think he's right next to that car. Things over there. Nothing. Fine. I can't carry any more crap. Come back for this food rucksack. You can also potentially find a med rucksack in this too. If this is highlighted, not what I found though. Okay. Gonna run this up to base and then come back at the food rucksack, run it up to base. I already know what they want. They want five samples, five two samples to go. Um, that's already looted. Barn shed. Oh, great shed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could be zombies in here. Especially in lethal, there's usually very high chance of zombies just being in these houses. So if you just like run by them, they heal, they rehear your footsteps and start jumping out the windows. But that one might not, considering it is mostly in my base's safe zone. So that one might not have zombies in it. I'm back. Don't make a big deal out of it. There's the meds. Now, since we have an infirmary, we're losing two meds, but that's about it. Go back and get the uh, the food rucksack. Okay, that pharaoh's right there. Can I loot this? No, I can loot this though. Tracking that feral. <laughs> it's good to track certain things like that if you can. But sometimes, like, they travel too far away, the tracking will stop and your marker will just be sitting on nothing. And it got dark fast. As soon as the sun went down, like, it wasn't no sunset or nothing. It was like daytime. Now it's dark. It was daytime. Now it's nighttime. Can I loot these? I might have already looted those. Can 
me run here and check. I know this is already looted, but zombie inside. No, nah, she's right there. Never mind. Look these. Maybe find circuitry or parts. Parts. The screamer right there. And there's this is zombie. Oh, I see the moon coming up. I did find a gas can. Here we go. <clears throat> so what I may do... Located this car. Banged up. I've started cars banged up. Um... I may take the gas can and go throw it in this car. Yeah. I may also need to switch um peeps cuz I'm pretty sure this person's fatigue is probably going to hit soon. I really need to go get more materials. I really need these guys to be healing up. Throw her in there. This. We got a baseball bat. Okay. I switch it to the machete instead. Hmm. Gas can. Come over here, try to get this car. Yeah, try. Keyword. Does this have a lootable car port? Or anything lootable? No? Okay. Cool. Are any of these lootable? Yeah. It's probably just have parts though.
try to take it down here. It's already damaged, so I do gotta be careful. About to rest for a few. Get that door unlocked. So, uh, see these three containers and then uh, a gas pump. Okay. Research this first. Say, fortune favors the bold. All right, some construction materials. Take it. And fuel. Nice. That, so that means the gas pump outside would probably give me a gas can. on a plague streamer. and search this because like I said this would probably give me I'm assuming either uh, a gas can or parts yeah
This would probably give me gas can, chemicals, or parts. Useful, I guess. Yeah, chemicals. Chemicals can indeed be useful. Need ethanol. Cuisine increases the yield. Cooking skills reduce the amount of items it takes for this. Uh, that's why cooking is so important, man. Wait, throw that in there. Shipping containers. Ooh. It's right there. Take out this uh, screamer. Hopefully, he's not an issue for future me. Feral is over there. There's two containers, it could be materials, it could be meds, it could be absolutely nothing. Yeah, there's materials. <coughs> Go ahead and search that. They're telling what this is. Could be meds. Could be nothing. Is this lootable? No. I'll take this, throw that in there. Okay, we. Sh yeah, you gotta get this back to base. There's a bloater blocking that road. See what I can do. Off road it is. Got 15 materials. This is going to take ex all the materials that I just got to upgrade, but it's necessary. Passive, passive healing from injuries. Now, while that is happening, I can come down here. Got a horde, got a bloater, got a feral. I really need that ammo, though. the molly and energy drinks just in case because I don't have any ranged weapons for that feral. I'm going to try to use the molly for the horde of zombies if I have to. And then use the energy drinks if I have to 
to melee the uh melee that guy i might move the car down here so it's in the outpost i'm like going in one with it just down the road hopefully it doesn't screw me over Get in the road. I like this. over there. I think once you get 30 meters or less, he knows where you are. Actually, have gotten lucky for a change. Looks like I'm safe for now. now this thing does have quite a bit of uh, lootable containers. I'm not that far from my cell tower outpost either, so can run things over there if I need to. Sledgehammer. Five rounds, but no gun that shoots forty five. Man, I ain't finding nothing. drop yo what's up sinister let's drop the parts for now yes try to get back to the uh try to get back over here drop off the excess 
stuff. Throw the rucksack in the car. A bloater just tripped and fell somewhere. You got these guys. Near my car. Just wait a second. Never pass. Put this rucksack in there. <laughs> By the way, Sinister, freaking update 34.1 released this morning. Yeah, these guys seem to not know what they want to do. Nice, yeah. Uh, a lot of different outfits uh, got released that you can get for free. And then uh, some changes and fixes were added. And then a new curveball was added as well called Outlaws Passing Through, something like that. Take that. There's nothing left to salvage here. All right. So much going on right now with these guys. So much going on right now with these guys. I may dismantle this uh, cell tower outpost. Then make this smile post. Food down posts are pretty important or lethal. I don't know how much influence you get back though when you dismantle an outpost. I don't know if you get all of it back or half of it or what. Bloater in sight. Cause now that I think about it, I think having a food outpost early is uh beneficial. Because I'm not even going to be able to use the cell ability right now at all. I'm going to put the rifle away. And carry the, uh, the 22. For now. Oh, it comes with a red dot on it too. Nice. Where's that freaking feral right there? Oh, 
I'm moving in. Okay, you can find meds here and slash or food. Or none of the above. I found the meds. Energy drinks, very nice. More 22. Then this might be food. Just a snack. Um. Yeah, that's not going to work. Reduces cooldown of radio options by 20%. Allows us to learn or improve the computers. Yeah, but what if you dismantle? I mean, having it is really nice. So I think I need a food outpost. First. I don't really think I have anything to sell on... <laughs> This is the beginning, and I haven't done the uh, five sample mission yet because I've been trying to get everything. You get half influence back, so I only get like 150. Yeah, might as well just keep it then. Might as well just keep it then. Freaking bloater. Keeps walking back and forth. Um, <laughs> I'm searching through these houses. Find a uh, repair kit. Maybe. There's the bloater that tripped and fell. <clears throat> Freaking dummies. Seems calm here. <clears throat> Better keep looking. Well, darn. Nice. That's a lot of stuff.
Oh, that guy completed, so that's nice. So now passive healing can actually take effect. You saw me tussle with a black heart last night. I don't even want to talk about that black heart, man. Uh, good times. I found everything I'm gonna find. Man, oh man. Yeah. That black heart was probably the first actual true black heart I've went against. There's something different, that's for sure. Yeah, they are. Apparently, the update that released a few hours ago had something to do with the black heart as well. Apparently, the black heart would cause performance issues for the game whenever it would pop up. Whether. I don't know. But, uh. Yeah, they were supposed to fix some performance issues surrounding the uh, black heart. What they need to do is freaking reduce the speed the zombies get from the black heart. Those guys are zooming. They're zooming. They are zooming like crazy. I thought it was a bug at first. By the way, I did realize, or I did uh, find out that I do need a, a new mouse. Quiet. Not that like there's something wrong with my mouse, it's just my mouse isn't like a, a razor or anything like that. It's just like a, a, a cheap quote unquote gaming mouse you can get from like Walmart. And it doesn't really have any kind of like DPI settings or support like that. So for me to turn down my mouse sensitivity, I need to get a actual gaming mouse or something that has actual like DPI settings I can change. Okay. Ethanol, let's go. By the way, my freaking three people that I picked, I wanted to go, I wanted to take a different route. With uh, my three people, because uh, I felt like I was starting to get into a rhythm of picking the same, the same three people: cooking, chemistry, sewing, cooking, chemistry, hygiene. Uh, so I went a different route this time, and I didn't go with either. I did not start with a cooking. I did not start with a chemistry. I instead wanted to, you know, be a little different. Which will probably make this a little more challenging, but I went with a sewing, a driving, and a hygiene. I have yet to experience the driving part. You use a Razor Naga? It's pretty sweet. I would have to look into it. I used to have a Razor mouse it was uh like the razor um i i can't even remember the name like razor elite blade or something like that i don't know i loved that mouse it was my favorite mouse but i had it for like three four years and it finally gave out on me i guess i'm not using my mouse correctly because this mouse is starting to have the same issue that that mouse had and it's where like the mouse buttons don't want to like like, you know where you hold it? It's like the little clicker on the inside. It's like breaks or something like that. So like you can be holding the mouse and then like it starts, it starts like malfunctioning. <laughs> like it goes into like a, a micro. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong with using my mouse, but I keep breaking mouse one, mouse two by accident. Um... I want to I want to search this too if possible. I need to search these. I did get uh materials did I not? What have I gotten? Ammo and meds. 
I guess that I guess that would work for now. I'll take this back up. Hmm. break down after use yeah but i think my issue is is like they don't last long i had to shoot you i would rather take one shot than you freaking scream but right. <clears throat> i'm gonna search through the houses starting here and then going around But yeah, don't <clears throat> don't remind me of the uh, wonderful tales of my adventures with the Black Heart. <laughs> really enjoy the peace and quiet while I can. Jeez, that was a fun time. And then I kept running out of gas. <laughs> I kept running out of gas. I didn't even realize it was like instant out of gas. I was like, oh, what the. I didn't even realize either until it was too late. Shark hoodie ninja lantern. What? Shark hoodie. Ninja Lantern. Oh, this is one of the new ones that you can find. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, this is the... This is one of the, the new ones that they added that you can... You, you can... You can find this. You want that hoodie so bad? Well... I got it. I'm going with a, a western farmer cowboy country vibe with this community. Cuz I kind of get that I kind of get that vibe with trucker to be honest. Let's be think of Texas. I'm the type of person who tries to make my People kind of match the vibes of their surrounding. I don't know why. I kind of do that in everything, though. Match my surroundings. It's a pretty cool hoodie, though, or outfit. That's that. Next place. If I do like a an all black attire. Community type the you can do the all-black hoodie you could do that black hoodie outfit you could do the black tactical rest. outfit as well Providence is like Oregon meager feels like Kansas or something I can't I can't remember Which one those are I think This feels like, this gives me like, this gives me two different vibes, I'm gonna be honest with you. It gives me like Nevada vibes, but it also gives me like Texas vibes. Like desert vibes, obviously. Like Nevada, New Vegas, or Texas. Yeah, that's the vibes I get from this place. Damn, that's locked. Providence. 
I'm gonna be honest. I mean, like, Providence kind of gave me Tennessee vibes. I think Cascade Hills, or maybe it's Meager. I can't remember exactly which ones because i'm getting the names a little mixed up oh dude a freaking but trumbull trumbull gives me freaking like georgia vibes let me be honest trumbull trumbull gives me georgia vibes i, I think uh Either Meager or Cascade, one of the two. I know which one I'm thinking about, but I can't remember which one the name is, but that one gives me freaking Southern Alabama vibes, I'm gonna be honest. You thought Providence was super Pacific North vibe? Really? Well, I mean, like, if you think about it, I mean, they, they kind of are similar. But yeah, I mean, it, it definitely gave me Tennessee vibes because Tennessee has a lot of nice a lot place. of mountains and stuff. I mean, the South overall has a lot of mountains. I mean, like Alabama has a lot of mountains, but Tennessee has a lot of mountains and stuff like that. Providence definitely gave me Tennessee vibes, one hundred percent. Oh yeah, this guy's fatigued just hit. I think Providence would probably be one of my favorite maps just because of the uh TZ vibes I got. Right, let me give you this uh gun to uh take the base with my guy. Let's switch to somebody else. I gotta, switch to, I gotta switch back to you. Because these people. Recover health, use infirmary. I mean, like, my infirmary is a level two, so. Has to feel health injuries. So, yeah, hopefully. Ooh, I can produce meds. It's actually food I need to produce, though. Fuck. I'm not doing too great so far. I'm really hoping to find a freaking toolkit. But this guy's my driver, I forgot. I do hope in Steady K3 they add weather, man. Like actual rain and shit. Rain and freaking thunderstorms. Man. Make me freaking fall asleep in the zombie apocalypse, let's be honest. Oh shit. Um. Weather would be so cool. I I thought they they did some kind of weather update to State of Decay 2, but it wasn't like an actual weather to where it rains, but there's definitely been times where I swear I heard freaking thunder and like I've seen rain clouds, but like I think it's just like a environmental noise. Like it never actually rains. You like Providence? I like Providence. Providence was the uh, first map that I completed a lethal zone on. But yeah, all the all the trees and forest kind of area and everything. Yeah, it definitely makes me think of the country. But uh, I think the uh, the mountains and the hills that you can kind of see and go up and down and see off in the distance and stuff definitely gives me uh. Can you see vibes?
I can see Oregon though. Not bad. I can see it Not being uh, similar to Oregon. It did make me think of Canada. Let's check this first. Man, there's just screamers all over this place. Every time I kill one screamer, three more pop up. Hoping for a repair kit. This is a barn shed, so... I'll take the first aid kit. Say no to a first aid kit, exactly. Never say never to a first aid kit. They weigh a lot, though. I never realized how much they actually weigh. Nothing here, as expected. <clears throat> Until I tried to carry three, and it was like 30 pounds. I think one is 10 pounds. Like, dang. It's all tapped out. Man, I am not finding a repair kit anywhere. I gotta go check that barn. This is my driver, though, so maybe even with the car smoking, I'll be alright. Yeah. He's my driver. I'm gonna head up here. It's gonna be plague territory anyway, so. I think overall, I'm just fucked. Be careful here because I did see on the map there was a blow. Yep, son of a bitch. Fuck you. So there's two bloaters freaking protecting this. Okay, I will say, using the driver, I have noticed my gas isn't really going down. Like, it is going down, but it's not going down nearly as fast as it normally does. So, that's a plus. The tartan mark right there. Gotta be a plague heart around here somewhere. I know there's a construction place up here. This is where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go up here. Oh my god. Fuck. I'm noticing that the car stealth is in effect too. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think the driving skill isn't too shabby. There's a play card here. Yeah, I think the driving skill isn't too it's shabby in freaking lethal zone. Close to a play card. Uh, 
Right, I am here. Somebody already picked this place clean. For loot. I will not find the loot. This place. This place is preloaded. That trailer is preloaded. The real question is, where stay of the K3? Like two years from now. I don't I don't see any lootable containers in this. The zombie's probably gonna turn around. If he turns around he's gonna see me through that window. Okay, this has four. Fire in the hole. Try to get them out. Another one, nice. Yeah, I don't. We've talked about this before in a past stream. I, I, I don't. Me personally, I don't mind waiting another one, two, three years. I would say three years max, maybe. But uh, I mean, like, you gotta look at like Red Dead Redemption too, right? That took ten years. And it turned out amazing. I'd say instead of K3 is going to be like Red Dead Redemption 2 level. But it pretty much the point is, is like it shows like great things take time, you know? Because if you rush games, you have games come out like cyberpunk on release or freaking um fuck what's that one game called i already forgot it outer space outer rim um space game made by bethesda i already i already forgot the game i already forgot the name of it fallout in space like, don't get me wrong, that's a, a an amazing, fun game to play, but it has so many issues with it. Starfield. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Starfield. And, uh... You know, they didn't take their time with it. And it has so many issues. But to be fair, AAA games like the freaking... Like, I don't know, the past couple of years, like... It's become like a running theme in like a triple A game releases. It's like, oh god, what kind of bugs is gonna be in it? Like, I don't know. I feel like games, like good games, aren't really made anymore. Games release, and then you gotta wait like six to eight months, sometimes even a year before like an update. Like a really big update comes out that actually like makes the game actual playable.
I mean, it's Bethesda. Their games have issues no matter how long they take. That is true. But don't get me wrong. I do, I do love Bethesda games. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Fallout. I love Skyrim. And I would, I would play those to my heart, to content. Like I even love Fallout 76. I know a lot of people hate on it. I don't know why. But I love 76. It's fun. It's a great game. I didn't really get to enjoy Starfield, though. Like, I was running into a lot of issues with it. I was running into a lot of issues with the game. A lot of bugs. And then, like, there's a lot of times where the game just wouldn't even play. Like, you gotta have, you gotta have like, a computer... It's pretty much like made for a freaking space station to run, run that game. Hmm. You're Bethesda fanboy? <laughs> I mean, I, I love Bethesda. I think the only game recently that I was kind of let down with was Starfield. And it, it, it doesn't really come to just, like, formats or anything like that. It's just, like, I don't know. Things just felt really repetitive. Like, you go to, like, all these different planets, but everybody has the same three guns, four guns. Like, there's no special gun. There's no cool gun. There's no unique guns or weapons or armor or anything like that that these different groups used I mean don't get me wrong it was fun for like a tiny bit I think the only thing about Storyfield that I love the most is it's space and I love space Anything with space, I will I will enjoy it just simply because of the fact space. But yeah, like I'm not hating on Starfield or anything like that. It was just pretty much meant to be like an example. The ship building? I didn't even understand the ship building because I tried to build a ship and then like it didn't want to. Gotcha, bitch. Bet you didn't know I was there. Buddy. I'm going slow because I'm in play card territory. I'm afraid if I jump through this window, they're going to hear me. Watch. Oh, yeah. It was weird. I thought he was reacting. I don't know why this guy heard me, but this one didn't. And then he didn't even react to what just happened. I never stood up though. I stayed crouching the whole time. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Give them credit for the gunplay. It's far better. Far better than Fallout. I actually enjoyed Fallout 4 and Fallout 76's gunplay. I really enjoyed it. I know 76's gunplay is similar to Fallout 4's, but like. I actually enjoyed 76's gunplay more than Fallout 4. I mean, the gunplay in Starfield was nice. I didn't get to experience it too, too much though, because I was running like 20 FPS the whole time. You think Starfield is an improvement? This spot's all tapped out. Another... Rucksack, let's go.
Can I make my way around? Securing a place this close to a plague heart. Wish I had a crossbow. That'd be pretty cool. Like dead by daylight, man. Just turn the turn one, two corners, lose the killer. <laughs> Easy peasy. Man, I miss DBD. I need to jump back on that, especially during their Halloween event, which I'm completely missing. I'm going to put gas in this. I mean, they are brainless and dead. I think it's fair that they're easy to shake. Well, it's not that they're zombies. That's just what they are visually. I think it's their coding. You have to look deeper into it. It's their coding. You have to understand how the game mechanics work. But yeah, they are brainless zombies. But to be fair, sometimes you can pull that exact same trick on a player killer in DBD. So are you saying that they're brainless zombies too? Yes. We got uh, four materials rucksack from this. That is pretty good. Gotta be a plague heart around here somewhere. I would loot that, but the trunk's full. I'll, I'll come back and loot that. Two containers there. No more Zeds to kill. Fine by me. Man, the driver having 50% stealth is actually nice. It's kind of kind of nice driving up to a yeah, I got no a place and like zombies not immediately rushing me. Let me search this. 
I'm hoping there's a toolkit here. Freak, bro. I, I could use that, though. I dropped the seeds for now. Probably be a toolkit in there, but I don't want to search it and then just not be able to grab anything. This is not... This is not play card territory, so there's got to be one, like, over here. You're still there, bro. Yeah, man, the driver, the driver perk is actually nice. Keep that in mind for the future. Make a big deal out of it. Yeah, we need food. Break, bro. Uh, you have a hundred and ten influence. I think I only got one one sample. Yeah, we only got one. Fuck. Get them to produce the food though. Got twenty materials now, so we can we can do the workshop, which would be eight materials. The only thing with the driving perk is there's, there are many great skills and you can only have nine people. True. I think Especially in play cart territory, having someone with driving skills great. Because, how did I know about this? Why does this keep happening? Or did I spot these? No, I didn't spot these. Why does it keep happening where like... See, I know about this one, because I went up there. But I shouldn't know about these two. I'm confused why, like, I always seem to get, like, one or two random. And it wasn't like this when I actually f initially started the game. Like, if you go back at the beginning of the stream when I started, I couldn't see this. Unless I did spot them, and I just don't remember. It's a supply drop here. I don't know if that's worth. I should go check it out though. I really need a tool kit. Fuck. Spot those from the cell tower? I probably did. There are a lot of quirk skills. I really like driving, sewing, leech, recycling, hygiene, but also like building big bases. So I need my chemist, medic, utilities. Yeah. What's it called? What's what called? What's what called? The supply drop has goodies in the description. It's a lot of trade goods. Um, there are goodies here. That's what it says. I need to see. I don't know why I freaking drove so far away from the house 
You can't trade with these guys until you do the mission, right? I'm gonna take a few trade items. I can't remember. I can't remember if you can trade with them or not. Go over here, talk to these guys. Worth going over and collecting. I may. Hey. Can I trade with you? Way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. Can I trade with you? Best place to find them I can. Around a plague heart. Okay. Those things basically infect their whole environment. Mm hmm. It is. Should have brought more, but I, I had no idea. I could, I could not remember. Bring your best gear, okay? Helping out like this is a good way to make friends. Okay. Let's hope this pays off. We could use allies out here. So yeah, I, I can trade with these guys. I can buy bullets from these guys. What? Okay. Um, I'm gonna look around. You get better prices if you improve them. Yeah, I know. That is one ugly screamer. Bitch. Bitch. Alright. I find it difficult sometimes to do this mission for these guys because, like, it's all based on, like, RNG. Because you could kill a hundred plague zombies and they not drop a single sample. Trying to barf on you, Root? I know, what the hell? Freaking jerk, bro. Alright. So I need to go... I need to get... One more sample. This is territory. Hey, I'm gonna fast search this. And you guys protect me, okay? Damn. I needed no protection. Cross that off the to-do list. Um not to hear it. I guess I can just drive up and down in the car. God, 100 plague zombies each. Law of averages would suggest we got a similar amount of samples, so it's RNG sure, but RNG is not as random as people think. I think it's really random. I did not want to hit you in the front of the car, but I did not want you to scream either. All right, let's go through here. Backwards. The air tastes like blood. Fucking plague zombies. For some plague zombies. Ones preferably not around bloaters. Yeah, preferably not around bloaters. That'd be great. Okay, the heart's right here, by the way. Nice. The only thing this car is good for is running zombies over.
Oh, what the hell did you guys come from? She gave me gas. I need food. Well, thanks. You be careful out there. Yeah, let me. Yeah. You guys got it. I have something new for you. You really should be focused on wiping out all the play cards in town. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Two gas cans, by the way. Um, I'm gonna hit my outpost over here. Yeah, I could go. There's two of them. Where are these? Where are these freaking supply crates coming from? What the hell? What is this curveball? The bullet benefactor, finer things in life. Uh, well, I'm gonna run this to my outpost to you, and then I'm gonna make the uh, that uh, food place my outpost. up and running. In my opinion, it still has a ton of untapped potential. I'm getting a bunch of stuff I can sell. Take it over there to them. Still need a toolkit, guys. I haven't found one. Or you take the traits on finer things in life. It can be a huge influence gainer. Um, community looking for luxury loot. Community has a higher morale and supply crate full of luxury items. Bound. So nothing about influence, but higher morale. This is always, always good, I suppose. But you know what else would be good? Freaking two kit. Very tragic. Well, howdy. Come on in. All I can say is, you know, it's, that's very tragic that 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 happened to you, not me. Man, I didn't realize you could buy like actual rounds of these guys, unless it's just these guys. I should go and try to loot this, but that's in heavy plague territory, and I just not really. Not really able to right now. Because I have other things that I really need. Like a toolkit. Um. Hey, you're not dead. You interested in trading? Might as well. Hey. You ready to do this? Why not? My 
Might as well buy that. Because, I mean, I'm going to need it. See ya. Ready to do this? Okay. I pretty much made that influence back almost. The building on the north side of the right of the intersection. You talking about this place? I think it's this one, right? Yeah, I know that's a mechanic shop, but that's also heavy plague territory. I'm trying to loot in the safe area and if I just don't find one then I will head up there bet that campsite has the crossbow fatigue just hit too This is probably not gonna have crossbow. I lied to everybody, mostly myself. Sneak in, grab toolkit, sneak out. Yeah, I mean, that's probably what I'm gonna have to do. Shotgun shells. Because I am not having any luck finding a toolkit in this area. Unless... These guys. A dangerous group of thieves. Well, we'll see about that, buddy. You go in there and die instantly. Do this bloater, I swear. You've been here this whole time. All the time, just been there, walking back and forth. Damn. Right, I guess there's characters, this guy's fatigued. What happened to his freaking eight level backpack? Did I accidentally switch that? I'm going in like Conan the fucking barbarian. What? <clears throat> um, I think this guy has my. Yeah, he has happen. my rifle. Question mark. If you want to help these people, don't screw around going guns blazing. I agree. Okay, great. Don't do this. We shouldn't risk our necks for strangers. Society can't return to normal unless we help each other. Look, people, it's the apocalypse. We need to start making tough decisions. 
<laughs> I know the subtitle says look people. Pretty sure he said fuck people. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go, by the way? I'm supposed to go up here. There's another campsite to the south in the T intersection next to the electrical outpost. Where? I gotta head up here, man. I gotta go do sheriff things. Some Rick Grimes, baby. What would Rick Grimes do? Why are you screaming? You were so far away from me. Man, I'm missing the... I'm really missing the, the driving skill already. You don't really realize how strong the driving skill is until like you you use it for a bit and then you swap off of it. Damn, you got everybody going to me. There's no good way to put this. Oh, doesn't this person die? Isn't that what happens? Doesn't this? Isn't that the mission where it's a cannon event and she dies no matter what? Like no matter no matter what you do, nothing. Like she dies. Say to a bit of bartering. Of course. I see you got a juicy toolkit. I'm buying that. Bad news. Someone just decided to swipe our stuff. Very rare. Now I can't remember if you can um trade with her after the mission and the person dies so that's why i bought it right then and there because I, I i i don't remember if you can or not bad news someone just decided to swipe bad our stuff news it's westgate time i could buy the energy drinks but that's a hundred i could buy the extra bullets though Four seventy three. I'm gonna buy one. Four sixty five. That's like eight influence per. I gotta stay clear of that plague bloater. Yeah, uh, I, I, I bought a few of them. I don't want to buy all of them. All right, let's do this. I've got bad news. Not taking any unnecessary risks. We need to strike hard and fast. It's Weskin time. Good idea. I got your back. No, you don't. You're gonna run in and die instantly. Ah, oh, damn! I should have done the other one. Should have made the other the other choice. I accidentally chose the wrong one. Yeah, she's gonna die no matter what. It's a cannon event. Now you can't get shot in your car, right? I've had all I can take from you. Yeah, you can't get shot in your car, right? You too. Yeah, she died instantly. Yeah, she died instantly.
I'm telling you, man, human hostiles are far more dangerous than zombies in this game. On lethal, anyways. You pretty much gotta try to outsmart them. What in the fuck? I hate this fucking car. This is the worst car in this game. Dude, this car flips over everything. did it guys I murdered people let's go you gotta get the headshots I mean the headshots only do so much There's been plenty of times where I've shot them in the head and they just tank it like it's nothing. But you get shot in the head and you just go down instantly. Almost. No, I can't swing by, guys. Like, what the hell? Over there. Leave me alone. I actually have gotten lucky for a change. Take it. Oh, no. Take that, and I'll take that. Every headshot has a small chance of dropping them. I mean, I know that, but I mean, do you know how good my aim is compared to the AI aim? Jesus Christ, the AI 
They have that freaking snap ability. It's useful, I guess. Is there a body I'm missing? Did I search you? Did, did I search you? I did not. Aims better than yours. I mean, I think what when in that moment when I went down, I think my uh, I think I wasn't shooting her in the head. It was kind of hard for me to see, and I was I was distracted by the zombie that was next to me. I think I was shooting her in the chest. Yeah, I think I shot her in the chest like twice. It better not be. A feral chasing me in this raggedy ass car. I swear I to goodness. This might just clear up. Yeah, I hate this car. I don't advise anyone driving this car. That's the reason why it's the starter car. And it's because it sucks. Bro, really? Really? Let's go. Let's go. We gotta go. Now. Now. Let's go. Shut up. Get in the car. Shut up. Get in the car. Shut up. Get in the car. 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 You know what? Mission's over. Mission's complete. You you found your way home. Yeah, this car just flips way too easy. I hate this fucking car. Uh, the upgrade to it is top tier though. I've never upgraded it, so I have no opinion on it. I don't even know what it looks like upgraded. It's just, it, it's, it's just, the car just flips way too easy. That's pretty much like my issue with it. Does this have a scope? Damn it. Oh yeah, I have the freaking med, meds on me. And I ain't got no food. Put this stuff away. Um, no, it does not. Switch people. I haven't even got to play as this person yet. She's not even here yet. Okay, we got the workshop. We got the workshop. I don't even know what uh, homegirl's skill is. Medicine. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Because doesn't that... Um, knowledge of medicine... Yeah, medicine skills will reduce the amount of items required. Yeah, I can use that to do this. And it costs less. And then if I do pharmacology, it will increase the yields. Also, whenever I get a cook and a chemist, pharmacology, if I'm not mistaken...
Yeah, pharmacology decreases uh, the cost to make more energy drinks. And nutrition increases your uh, what you get from it. Uh, yes. What should I build here, though? Shooting range, increased stamina. Uh, but honestly, I take the the max for the legend any day. Yeah, I do like those cars. I mean, they pretty much have the same trunk space, but they they don't seem to flip as easy. Both the seventy three Ford Falcon and the sixty three Impala are two of my favorite favorite cars. Really, I don't think I've seen the uh, Impala in the game. Chemist, pharmacology, and cooking nutritionist has become your two most prioritized skills. Really? Hey, we've been robbed. Stop that thief. Brother. I'm going to bust some heads over this. Brother, what do you mean? <clears throat> Somebody just robbed me of my free food that I had. Took off without food and ran into the shed. I'll handle this. I'm pretty damn I'm not Fuck. Yeah. You messed with the wrong question, buddy. Now, not only are you messing with the me, but you're also messing with me. While I'm starving. I'm about to die. Hopefully. I got one bomb. It's got your name on it. Drop your stuff. Don't make me use this. I just want to talk, okay? You know. Took a little food. I'm starving. Yeah, well, me too. Okay. <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? Zombie did. Uh. Let's cool it for a second, all right? Feels good to take out the trash. They won't be bothering us anymore. You're my food back. This will slow me down. I wouldn't have killed him if it wasn't my last little bit of food. I fall over. Should have killed them too, but I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> He stole the only food that we had. We were starving. Look. Yeah. 
he, he needed to go. He needed to die. People, people, you know, they do things. I'm coming your way, whether you like me or not. You know, when they're hungry, Rational they do things. Safe? You're not the same when you're hungry. There. Remember that. Um, I should actually spare my energy drinks and not use them unless uh, absolutely necessary. Since I don't have a cook or a chemist. They basically try to kill your starvation. Exactly. Mother freaker. Would have killed his two friends too, but. You know. My revenge. Was, uh, satisfied. My need for revenge were, was satisfied. Wait, what is this curveball? Yo, is this curveball wanting me to go kill people? What is going on with this game making me kill people right now? I didn't get to read what the uh, curveball was saying. Been looking to move, but the place we have our eye on is pretty dangerous. Can you clear it out? Sure. Let's get down to business. All right. Where? Where's it at? Oh, that's not bad. It might be plague territory, though, but that's not bad. I can do that. Don't you worry, you pretty little head, buddy. They were like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> when you explained, yeah. He stole the last bit of canned peaches that we had. Shit, where's my house at? <laughs> yeah, I just like did like five one eighties. I got dizzy for a second. All right, we will be traveling around the mountain when she comes, so we can clear out this place. Yes, I am very aware we are low on food. Look, don't worry. The outpost is being, you know, ready and stuff. There's a group of arms dealers nearby. Their selection is huge, but the price is high. Maybe we should check it out. Fuck yes, I'm in. Uh -huh. I actually kind of like that she she kind of came with the whole Western theme that I was going for. Where's this freaking... Dang it. There we go. Hmm. 
very yeehaw yeah i mean it's, it's trucker county you know i mean it's very it's very fitting very fitting oh i just realized what time it is i i'm gonna have to end streaming about within the next hour which reminds me because uh i need i wouldn't i need to go into town and do stuff which reminds me, I actually need to get up and go check on something real quick. Killing 25 armored zombies with revolvers, there was a whole task and a half. I keep seeing that in the bounty thing, and I keep thinking about selecting it, but I, I haven't selected it yet. I figured you could just do something where you just hit them with melee to get their helmets off, and then just shoot them in the head with a revolver. I thought, you know, you just do that. Um, but yeah, um, I need to get up and go check on something real quick. And I will be right back.
Well, I'm back. <clears throat> um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, like I said, I gotta leave soon. Do real life stuff, and I just pretty much had to make everything was ready. Um, I guess what I can do is I can go do this mission. I should have time for that. Where's it at? Up there. Do I have any decoys? I have this, and then I can take this. Need another repair kit. This will uh, do this mission successfully. Should help allow me to get these people allied. And then, depending on who they have, if they have a cook or a chemist, I may recruit them. I don't. Why am I leaving mission area? I'm right here. At it. That's all I got. God, I am so sick of plague zombies. Get ahead on soon too. You gotta drop stuff off in a lab. Oh my god, are you an echo lab scientist? We've been spamming the cook a few stops in the kitchen. That extra stamina is nice. Why is you screaming? I hate when you try to, like, you're behind them and you grab and then they instantly turn and you just get bit. It's my favorite thing about this game. Art stairs. I didn't realize I was in the uh, range of it. Get to these zombies over here. I can't keep this up. Because this house isn't in. They moved right next to these guys. These guys live right next to each other. That's crazy. I've never seen them before. Well, hey, you. Come take a load off. What's up, kid? Let's get down to business. All right. I'm buying this, by the way. I don't have much influence, but I'm buying that. Good to see you're still upright. Okay, you have no special. Hey, 
You have movie trivia. Was your third person? Let me be clear with you. We know this ain't gonna be easy. Is this Take them? This great nation of ours? It'll cost us. No. But believe you me, red talent is in this for the long haul. Sewing. I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna have to take her because she doesn't have the special. A fifth. I tell you what, if we survive all this, we'll probably have red talent to thank. Because then I can teach her. What's up, kid? Later. <clears throat> what kind of benefit am I getting from them? Off, offside food storage. Yeah, that's kind of pointless. Hey guys, it's me. Oh, hi there. Later. You have a freaking vector? Hello. Hi there. Let's make a deal. Okay. God dang, who are you people? Yeah, I'm getting a negative curveball right now when it comes to influence and stuff, so I shouldn't buy or sell anything. No trouble at all. But who the hell are you people? What in the hell? Warlord gun runners? Oh my god. Hey, you're not dead. Later. Hey, you. Where's this other person at? Good to see you're still upright. We've got enough room for you. But just you. Wanna come with? I said this before. I wish you had the option how many people you you can recruit. Like if there's three people in the enclave, I wish you had the option to recruit all three, recruit just two or just the one. Cuz I always feel bad. And I also I also wish they it didn't dismantle the enclave if you only recruit one. Like if there's still two, then I think it should still stay a, an enclave. The a gun with a good suppressor is worth buying. Ish. I'm listening. Get in my way. Uh -huh. Yeah, you ain't got nothing. Take this toolkit though. Like your style. This this place has eight containers. This might be useful. Emphasis on night. Getting three recruits for free could be too broken, but I think they should stay as two person enclave remove. Well, I think it. I think what it could be like is like. I think what they could do is they could have where it depends on how many beds your base has, right? So say your base has two extra beds that no one's sleeping in. You could recruit two of the people in the enclave. If it has three extra beds, you could recruit all three. If it has one extra bed, you could recruit the one. Like, I think that would be a way to kind of counter it. So it's not OP. You can only recruit people depending on how many free beds you have. And I said this as well. I kind of wish the... Uh, the enclaves had like better fortified bases. Cause sometimes I feel weird. I'm not gonna lie. I feel weird that my base is like this 
big fortified base while Enclaves live in like a house. I like your beds to matter f more to maybe a cab where you can't recruit anyone unless you have a bed for them. Exactly. That's what I was that's what I was thinking. Only build beds for aesthetics. I build beds uh -huh. if it's built in, it's fine. But yeah, I kind of build beds for aesthetics as well, but also just so I don't hear my people complain about it. So they don't complain about no beds and everything like that. And then also complain about, um... Sharing beds and whatnot. Things would be going a hell of a lot smoother if people around here just got their act together. Anybody ever read that book about Eagle Eye, the army sniper in Afghanistan? He grew up around here. And I bet someone with his skills is still alive. We should try to find him. Good idea. Okay, so now I got a medicine, and I can teach this person... Wait, this person has a, a warlord mission? Weapons for all. Talk to Abram about the Enclave of Weapon Stockpilers. Man... Facility speed increase is nice, but the main reason I keep my morale high is just so I don't have to listen to them bicker. Same. That, and also so they don't waste resources. Like, oh, I'm sad, so I threw a bunch of ammo against the wall. Oh, this is something that they added, by the way, in the new update. Is when someone is actually fatigued... Or when they're like the NBC, the AI, the, the character is like actually resting to re reduce their fatigue that, you know, you put on them. They, uh, this is, this is what one of the updates added. They actually lay in the bed and sleep. They actually lay in the beds. So, um, again, aesthetically, you know, if you're into that, you would want to build beds because they added the characters actually getting in the bed and sleeping when they're tired. Yeah, they actually go to bed. And uh, it's the same thing for when they're sick. So, like, whenever you... Whenever, like, you put them in here, they... Obviously, they already would go into the... Um, they would already go into this. But, uh... Even if they're not, like, trying to get rid of their affected, but they're injured, they would go to the infirmary and lay down. Yeah, it's not necessary for the game function, but it's nice, like, aesthetically and realism, I guess. I like it. Travel to the private workshop to confront the off-roaders about their weapon hoarding. 
My God, the fight these guys, man. Dude, I don't know what's been going on, but this whole playthrough so far has been nothing but me killing people. <laughs> like, do I gotta kill more people? I mean, like, I'm not complaining, but... I kind of have stuff I need to do. I gather resources. Honestly, I should probably put a farm here, which I can't, because I'm missing one material. So she's sitting down, drinking some water. Very nice. Yeah, like, I don't want to continue using my rounds that I do have on killing people. Okay, there should still be two gas cans in here. Yeah. Let me go ahead and throw this bad boy on. If it would let me. Oh my god, I just want to... You know what? I'm just going to back it up. The starter base is so good. Yeah, I that's what that's what I was saying. Like when I started in Drumble Valley, that starter base sucked. Like that was probably the worst starter base I've ever I've ever been into. You ain't got no kitchen. You can only build two things, and it's more likely gonna be an infirmary and a freaking workshop. Like Trumbull Valley, you gotta get out of that freaking starter base like immediately. Or you're just gonna, or you're pretty much just fucked if you don't. But isn't all the like original State of K two maps like a uh, starter base like that? The Providence Ridge isn't. That's the Watchtower one. I would say that's probably the second worst uh, starter base, the Providence Ridge one, where you start with the that Watchtower. That's that's not even like a freaking. Like I feel like that watchtower should at least give like a built-in sniper or something. If you want weapons, you got to pay the market price. We refuse to be exploited. Give us a discount and we can do business. Off, oh, rotors would be open to trade. <laughs> no, and I can't believe you're even asking. Look, I can kill you, but I don't want to. You don't get it. We got the weapon, so you pay our price or go home with nothing. The off-roaders were being left unchecked. Later. There, business partner. All right. There, I bought something. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really equipped to take on three people, one of them with a freaking vector. I got influence though, let's go. Yeah, I want to finish looting this house. Yeah, I got like 15, 20 minutes before I need to, uh, I gotta leave. They're a good ally to have. Is that it? I don't know. I don't remember ever running into them. I don't think I've ever run into, uh, this mission. This is probably like a warlord mission, right? Yeah, someone told me, um, they, they gave me a tip and they said, never start off with your three people being a warlord or a sheriff. Because you would constantly have missions of people, um, either stealing stuff from you, stealing stuff from neighbors. Is It's pretty much just gonna keep having you, like, fight human hostiles and it's not something you want to do early game on lethal zone <gasps> we got a toolkit for free i didn't have to buy steal or make 
Well, a mission, yes. Those three Florence guns is a huge benefit in early game. I can't even pour those right now. I also bought one 9 mil round for one influence. I don't even think I have a 9 mil weapon. I think I've searched everywhere I can. Alright. Yeah, the I don't I don't ever remember getting these kind of this mission. Dumbass. I need food. That's what I need. I need to go freaking loot a food rucksack. I would say maybe try to buy one from from them, but they don't have a food rucksack. They have um, ammo, which is nice for the future. Dude, this weapon sway is crazy. Food. Um, I still never even searched that like I wanted. I can go search that though. Um, I really would hate for me to like leave the game because I have to leave soon. I would hate to leave the game and then this eagle eye mission despawn and not respawn. <laughs> So would the mission respawn, like if I had to leave, like exit the game and come back? I hope so. I really don't want to shoot you. Screamer.
Oh yes, I've been there. I did just earn Lucille. Nice. I need to go get that. Now the bounty broker weapons, like once you do the bounty and then you go collect it, and then you go to like a different community, different map, whatever. Can you find those weapons as lootables, or like how do you how do you how do you get those weapons on a different like community? Like I know you can go to the bounty broker and buy them, but like other than that, like can you find them? Because I think I've noticed some of the weapons I found um, were bounty broker weapons. You have to buy them with influence. You can't find them. Well, that sucks. Premises are empty. That's what I like. But some of the bounty breaker stuff are in the loot table. Yeah, I thought some of them were, because I've I've found some of them before. Oh, nice. Finally got my stealth weapon. Food, thank God. Throw this in the car. Let's do just in case. And now I have a crossbow, so now I feel a little bit more comfortable confident moving around and playing territory if I need to. Let's hit the road. We're done here. I just realized like I'm getting very unlucky kinda. Like two 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 of my female characters are like a old face model. And then the the one dude is kinda like a Kinda of like an old face model. <laughs> I hope you can hear this. Pillage and plunder. One plus fuel. Who did that? Excuse me. the three rucksack materials it is but I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna have time to do it I'm really hoping these missions uh, pop back up because um, I'm fixing out the I'm fixing out the end stream and get off here and go into town I mean, I'll, I'll stream again when I get back home, but it's probably going to be a couple hours from now. I do have a Goose Recon video releasing in about five minutes, though. Excited about that. I'm always excited for when my videos release. I usually upload them, like, the day before and then schedule them. So, like, the video was uploaded yesterday, but I scheduled it to upload today. This person's exhausted. Okay, so she has the sniper dude mission and he has the builder mission. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, that's not far. That's like right okay, on the edge of playing territory though. 
Like right on the edge of plague territory. Oh man, I don't know. I might have time to go there and get come back. I have to be super quick with this though. I'll just go through Luton Bell. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do, but I, I've had this mission before, long time ago, so I vaguely remember it, because I think there's like two times you have to go, right? I think you go here, you loot, you don't find anything but like a few 50 count rounds, and then like a note maybe? Can't remember. And then I think later on, like the second part of it opens up. But I think when you go to this location, it's going to be filled with zombies. I sure hope the air ain't contagious around here. It is plague territory, so I do want to be careful. Should be around here somewhere. I'm in plague territory. No place is ever really secure. You don't yeah. think this has the Back second part? Screamer, all right. Where? I don't see no screamer. I don't see any zombies either. Looters might have left something behind. Twelve containers. Oh my god. That's gonna take up all my time. Even without zombies, the freaking twelve containers is gonna take all my time. That stealth kill trick is pretty clutch. It's pretty nice. Handwritten letter. I've read that one before. I, I don't want it. So this is Plague Territory, which I know it is because it's at the edge, but I think there's a second one. Yeah. Hmm. There's a ton of 50 cal rounds yeah, there's no this life. one. Sorry to hear that. I guess Eagle Eye didn't make it. I'm not so sure. If his rifle's gone, he might still be out there. Exactly what we've been doing. Yeah, I think this definitely is, or definitely does have a second part. Because I think, I think, dude, I can't remember. I think the second part, you go somewhere, and I think you, uh, you get a 50 cal. Yeah, it's kind of like the, it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's kind of like the, uh, the ant prepper mission. Which that's the one I really want because I really want that I really want that twenty two. I really want the twenty two you can get from that. That's my favorite twenty two. That's probably my favorite like rifle in the game. Like when it comes to stealth, like my favorite weapon would probably be the uh, repeater crossbow. But when it comes to like, my favorite weapon overall, would probably be the. Uh, the the ant prepper 22 rifle you get the prepper 22 is the best it is because it's like um it holds like 50 rounds and it's a 22 rifle so for one the rifle itself doesn't weigh that much and then it being a 22 you put a like a a, a really good suppressor on it it's not that loud at all it's 22 is like a very small caliber, but a freaking a nice freaking suppressor on a 22, you can make it almost subsonic. And it has a scope on it, so you can zoom. Yeah, man, I'm finding all kinds of rucksacks here.
I can't remember, was there another rucksack in there that I couldn't pick up? Or is that what I just picked up? Nah, uh, yeah, there's uh, another rucksack. I mean, it's good because I need it. I don't remember there being this many freaking rucksacks for this mission, though. I guess this doesn't suck. Yeah, I don't really need the seeds. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm actually gonna leave one of these containers uh, un unopened. 45 rounds. I don't. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this containers unlooted. Come back. Because I can't. I don't have inventory. And I, I gotta leave. It's got headshot since they kill human enemies on lethal. Yeah, I, I actually went hunting. Um, I can't remember if it was during my Trumbull Valley or if it was my other one. Eagle Eye probably kept his rifle with him. I need to find out what happened to him after the outbreak. Yeah. Thanks for all the help. We need more people like you. Yeah, it's a two-parter. But, um... I know... I'm trying to think. No, I think it was in my last series. It was when I finally made it to Lethal. I was on Providence Ridge. And I went hunting. Because there was this group of hostiles in this area and I needed to eliminate them. And I went there with the freaking 50 cal. There was, they were hiding in this little shed, and then they opened the door, and then they tried to shoot me with a freaking. Why are you jumping out the window? They were trying to shoot me with a gas grenade. They ended up freaking grenading the inside of their freaking shed. So I took advantage of that. I shot one in the face with the 50 cal, died instantly, while the gas was inside the shed, because they freaking, I don't know, I think they were trying to shoot me with the gas grenade launcher and ended up shooting the wall, so the gas filled the inside their shed and they just stayed in there. So I shot one, dropped them instantly with the 50 cal, inside the shed was filled with this gas, I, talked to, I tossed the freaking Molotov inside and just burned him alive. Pretty good. Run up with aim snap, headshot, three quick shots, then run away from the zombies. <laughs> yeah, not if they freaking aim snap you first. I've noticed, I mean, it's pretty much like any other game, really, if you're going up against like a, a freaking elite AI aim. You know, it's like, you, you you don't want to fight them out of the open. Like, you want to, like, if you keep dodging, if you keep dodging, they won't be able to hit you. Unless they get, like, extremely lucky. But so far, like, I usually take, like, an energy drink and then dodge and just spam dodge. And then once I get behind cover... Then I can I can shoot them, but like if you're out of the open, or if you're in a place where you don't have much cover, like there's not really it's not really much you can do. You just have to keep dodging until like you get to like cover. And you never wanna you never wanna do it from this angle either, because they're gonna see your character before you can see them. So if you have to do it like this, you wouldn't want to dodge, dodge twice. I mean, you don't, you don't have to dodge twice. You can probably dodge once. But I usually dodge twice. That way I can dodge, let my eyes and brain, you know, locate them. 
then the second dodge, and then fire, and then try to dodge back. But it's better, it's better to go at them with the wall on the left side and you coming around the right side. Because it's not like Ghost Recon where you're, like, you can't swap shoulders. If you can swap, sho swap shoulders, it'd be different, but you can't. It's like, you want to go at them like this. Go. Bloop. Bang. 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 <laughs> but you gotta, like, if, if you're, like, if your intent is to go after human hostiles, I definitely suggest energy drinks or stems. That way you can, you can constantly dodge. Dodge their shots. Because once you start doing this, you're just gonna get shot. You're gonna get shot doing this. Hide behind cover and pop out for a quick headshot. Yeah. Pretty much what you have to do. Now, I mean, like, if you're going up against them in, like, freaking standard zone, dread zone, then you can probably, like, face them head on and not really matter. But nightmare lethal? Nah, man. But anyways, um... I gotta go. It is that time. My people are eating six food a day. Oh my god. And my food outpost is a level two and it's not enough. It's not enough. Oh, that reminds me. Can I teach this person cooking? No, I have a craftsman book. Freak. Freak a doo doo doo. Alright, so I need. Someone to freaking recruit. Be with you, lickety split. But I gotta go. It is that time. I need to head off into the real world. <clears throat> Enacting rations is helpful. I've never enacted rations before. I never done it because it always seemed like uh, a big negative effect. But I might. I might try that when I come back. I will be streaming again in a couple of hours when I return home. No idea how long it would take. All I know is... I would say four or five. I have no idea. A couple of hours. But anyways, thank you all for tuning in. hope you enjoyed. I would not... Uh, I have no idea what I was fixing to say. It's not big, just a bit of stem and morale. They eat half the food. Yeah, I might I might need to do that when I get back. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. When I come back, be part two, Trucker County. See what's up. Continue, continue. Hope you have an amazing day.